The Tanita BIA technology allows us to measure many aspects of body composition. I will outline these key components. Body fat is shown as a percentage of total body water and an actual weight mass. Fat is essential to life. We all need it to remain healthy. Without fat, our bodies would not be able to perform basic functions such as regulating body temperature, storing vitamins and cushioning the joints and organs. Whilst we all need some fat, too much fat can damage your health and put you at greater risk of developing serious medical conditions. In fact, excess body fat is known to directly contribute to heart disease, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes and some forms of cancer. Adults and children from the age of 9 to 99 years need to understand their body fat percentage and keep it within the healthy ranges to help reduce these risks. Shifting the focus away from reducing weight alone or BMI to reducing fat mass will ensure long-term weight loss. Aim for a loss of no more than 1-2% to of total body fat per month. This will require gradual changes to your diet and an increase in exercise to ensure long-term fat loss and a healthier lifestyle. For athletes, by monitoring and ensuring targeted weight loss and fat loss on a weekly basis will ensure peak performance is maintained. Excess weight loss in a short time is often detrimental to performance and can lead to a higher risk of injury or drop in performance. This feature indicates the weight of muscle in your body. The muscle mass displayed includes the skeletal muscle, smooth muscles such as cardiac and digestive muscles and the water contained within these muscles. Muscles play an important role as they act as an engine in consuming energy. A healthy muscle mass is critical to metabolic health and optimal physical functioning for everyone throughout their lifespan. From early childhood right through to seniors. As you exercise more your muscle mass increases your energy consumption increases, helping you reduce excess body fat levels and lose weight in a healthy way. For people with a sedentary lifestyle who are trying to become more active, monitoring muscle mass is an excellent motivational tool. As they exercise more, they are losing body fat and increasing muscle, even if their body weight is not changing. For athletes, understanding the effectiveness of training on your lean muscle is vital to evaluate performance gains and optimising training. With this unique ability to monitor muscle mass, coaches and athletes can adapt training to gain the maximum benefit each athlete requires right on time for those key events. Thanks to Tanita multi-frequency BIA technology and valuable information on muscle mass changes in five segments of the body, including each arm, leg, known as appendicular skeletal muscle, and separate trunk measurements are possible. The trunk is defined as the area between the neck and hip. This information can be used to assist in understanding the direct impact of a training program on the body, even if the total body weight is not changing. Segmental measurements such as this can be invaluable for physiotherapists, biomechanists and sport and performance specialists who can monitor lean muscle changes due to injury, poor performance or other functional changes. This information can be used to assess the baseline segmental muscle mass balance as well as assessing change for rehabilitation purposes. Total body water percentage is the total amount of fluid in a person's body expressed as a percentage of their total weight. Water plays a vital role in many of the body's processes and is found in every cell, tissue and organ. Maintaining a healthy total body water percentage will ensure the body functions efficiently and will reduce the risk of developing associated health problems. Your body water levels naturally fluctuate throughout the day and night. Your body tends to be dehydrated after a long night and there are differences in fluid distribution between day and night. Eating large meals, drinking alcohol, illness, exercising and bathing may cause variations in your hydration levels. For a healthy person, the average total body water percentage ranges of 45-60% to for females and 50-65% to for males. It's important to note that as you train more, your muscle mass will increase and consequently your hydration needs may change. 
So if you're regularly monitoring your hydration levels, you will be able to adjust your fluid intake accordingly. For athletes, it is essential to get in the balance right because our bodies are comprised of 40 to 70% water. Just a slight difference in fluid balance can lead to drastic changes in running performance. Sweating accounts for well over 90% of fluid loss during a run. Add warm temperatures and humidity into the mix and this rate can be even higher. The remaining fluid loss comes from our breathing and the excretion of waste products. So regularly monitoring your hydration before, during and after training is essential if you want to achieve your best. It has been reported that every 1% drop in body weight from fluid loss, there is a 2% drop in sports performance. This may not sound like a lot, but for a 54 kilogram runner, a weight loss of 1.5 kilogram can lead to a 6% drop in running performance. Thus, for each kilogram of weight lost, at least one litre of fluid should be added to your hydration strategy. In warmer weather, this should be increased to 1.2 litres per kilogram and in extreme heat, 80 degrees plus, to 1.5 litres per kilogram. So the message is simple, monitor your fluid loss, adjust your fluid intake based on your readings, your training intensity and the conditions. During training, your existing fuel stores should suffice and your focus should be on staying hydrated. Try to consume fluids at a rate that keeps pace with your sweat rate, basing your needs on workout intensity and the heat. The more fluid you lose, the more your performance will be affected, and so this is particularly important in very hot conditions and during intense training.